Now let's talk about this quick tip. You know, I mean, you fished hundreds and hundreds of different rods, and so you did this series for Frabel. Yeah, uh, I, I wanted uh, fishing rods that actually fit in my way of fishing, and uh, I like a shorter handle, but thicker. Yeah. If you fish a lot, your hands will just ache after a while trying to hang onto a thin rod. And if you got big mitts, this will definitely help. I like them taped, it's warmer, and it's also, it doesn't muffle the bite. Now granted, uh, this is a softer tipped rod, but on a lot of the rods, if, if they're wrapped or they have a reel seat, yep. you, don't, you don't feel it. And then I like a softer tip. Now without looking at the bead, you can see that it moves at the slightest touch. Yep. And then the top two eyelets, very light. Very light, like a fly rod, so the water drips off and you don't get the freeze up in your other eyes. And you maintain sensitivity. A lot of people don't understand that sensitivity is all a matter of how tight all of this is down to your lure. Absolutely. So you've got this for sensitivity and you've got the light tip for bite indication and everything else that goes with it. So and then my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be, so I have an orange bead at the tip. But the tip itself acts as a spring bobber. That's why. Yep. You know, so it's uh, probably, this is, would be the number one seller, uh, and I really love it. This is a 27 inch. You got the 32. 32 is nice because you could just reach down to the hole. Right. But uh, when you're using something like, like this, uh, you, you got backbone when you set the hook. Yeah, well I like the 32 inch when you're dipping through slush in your hole and that <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. So you could actually pull the lure up to the rod tip and then push it through. Right, and I've always myself favored just a little bit longer rod. All I'm going to do is pack some maggots on here. Like that, and we should be set. Whoa! Stuck again. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. And come here and I'll show you what he's spitting up. <clears throat> he's got a little young of the year perch in him. They're cannibals. Yeah. And there it is. <laughs> Quite a size difference. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. This one's bigger, Doug. After you uh, pulled that young of the year perch out of that fish, I switched over to the Mimic Minnow Fry. Hey, that's a good one. Come here. Nice. Ooh, nice one, bro. I'll show you, it looks just like what you pulled out of that other one's mouth. Actually, it uh, looks like a young of the year perch. You'll see the tail's flat, sideways. It actually helps it swim, call it a whale tail. So when you're fishing the mimic minnow, you let it settle and then you can make it dart to attract fish and then you can, like you said, shimmy it? Oh yeah, I, what I like to do is let it, when I let it drop, it goes way off to the side. Oh. And then, oh, <laughs> the fish just chase it up. <laughs> Whoa, and big fish, man. Some, sometimes Maybe. you have to let it shimmy. If this is a perch, it's a good Holy one. cow. Fighter. Oh, Ooh, there and go. look how he took it. Sw man, you fooled him. Big <laughs> fish, man. Look at the size of that. Whoa. Not so long, but it is heavy. Yeah. Let me open his mouth if I can get it open. Oh, look at how he inhaled it. Just like I said, better than a real thing, man. <laughs> yeah. That is a heavy little fish. That's awesome. There we go. Another nice one. Another fish. <laughs> Ooh, not a bad one. Either. Well, man, this is quite a deal. We're an hour into the day, yeah. and we're not, you know, beautiful fish, man. Look at that. Aren't they incredible? Oh. I think, I, I absolutely think, other than, I love to look at crappies too, but perch are just beautiful. They're so blocky. Look at that. What a handful. Oh, nice coloration too. Well, you put us on them. <laughs> it was a good time. And there's no better time than right now.